Hello everyone, this is Lester. Ming Yu D4 Dark Dreams to Die Season 1. And I just got this game a few days ago. So I don't actually know what is this game about. Anyway, let's play. Wow, like some movie disclaimer. <laughs> David. <laughs> this is a story of a man with a very strange <laughs> fate. Hey, look. It's like I've grown wings. <laughs> you just hurry, boo. So, what does that mean? Prolong the day of begin or begun. Oh, what the fuck was this? An hour. Wait, wait. Wait, what? This is just the opening, nothing to play, I assume. And can I get that? Investigate the clues. Okay, I highlight it. Alright. I might read all the observations. That's a double shine. Okay, it's a warning sign. Yeah, thanks for telling me the obvious. Who's the sign? Okay. So I can move. Use the So where am I going? Okay. Okay. Sorry, move. No way, I want the medal. Yeah, I'm gonna push it. Yeah, I, I want this medal. Can I get it? Why do I want to push it forward? I, I 
I guess I can't get the medal now. Can I? Oh. Why, why do I want to push? Where we? Doesn't make sense. I push. You are cool. So what happened to the girl? And then who is this? He fall into the bathtub. Somebody threw him in, or was he drunk? Uh, what? So, what do I do? Shake the mouse. Okay. <gasps> Same character. I didn't see you again this time either. Where, where, where is this place? Little Peggy. My name is David Young, former knock with the Boston PD, and now a detective who searches the past. My likes include 100% de agave tequila, my dislikes are mainly drugs and chewing gum. Two years ago, someone killed my wife. Since then, I've been using every second of my life to solve a case. Using a certain, a very special power. How about powers? Get out of the bar room. Hey, Lordy Pop. No, I don't want to grab that. A gift is an expression of emotion. The person who sends it wants the feelings to be understood. Sometimes, however, those feelings remain in a slightly different form. I call these forgotten treasures. Mementos.
she wasn't D. Yeah, she doesn't have a D. Okay, back. No, I don't want to go. Never mind. Little Peggy. Look, since when? <laughs> she a ghost or something? Oh, Everyone no, no, has their own here. place to work. A small desk in an office, a molten hot factory, a quiet library, the register in the supermarket, or in the middle of an intersection, in bed. On a golf course, a kitchen. For some, it's the whole town. Hey, hey, hey no guns. <sighs> Ooh. From the day she died, this has been my place to work. She a ghost or something, or, or, or is a, it's a young, hallucinating. No results this time either. This case is in the clear. Did you hear about David's wife? Man, they were just married, too. I heard it was revenge for one of his investigations. Sure sounds like the way they operate. Sending a deadly message. So I guess alcohol is going to There's only one thing I need after work. Tequila. Straight up. Nothing mixed in. I'm going to give me back some stamina. Perfect stimulation for my lead filled brain. You always look so happy drinking that. I wish I could have a drink too. Does it really taste that good? Maybe I'll just try a little. I have no memories of that day. When I came to, I was already lying in the ICU. The only thing I do remember are the words that little Peggy whispered as she died. Look for D. Who is D? Those words keep spinning in my head. Okay, so little Peggy is the wife 
Oh, the dog. They don't call it worth little. I, I don't know. They are related. That's all we know. At the time, with no compelling evidence, the case hit a dead end. I quit the BPD. However, under the right circumstances, I now have the capability to solve even a dead end case. I'll do everything in my power to find this D. I swear I will. And when I do, oh, Peggy. Amanda? Playing in the door, and he just mind his own business. This is Amanda. She just suddenly started living here one day. She sometimes goes out and gets food for us. And that's something of a lifeline for me, as I don't really go outside. Just who she is, though, well, my memory holds no answers. Yo, David, everything ship shake? I'm tired. I was about to go to sleep. Sleep? You look ready for a coffin. <laughs> Forrest Kaysen, a detective with the Boston Police Department, and my former partner. He still helps me out nowadays in my search for D. He's both a client and a source of information. He gets whatever I need. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> Women are always trouble. Doesn't matter how old they get. Trouble. I'm fighting with Diana again? <sighs> like you wouldn't believe. Women. Men don't stand a chance. Uh, don't come and see me. Actually means get right over here. But then, leave me alone. Just means, well, leave me alone. How am I meant to make sense of that? Tell me, David, please. Well, 
I don't encourage him to go and fight somebody else. Or if he beat me. You know you love it. You got the stomach for it. Uh, my stomach is stressed out quite enough. Thanks. Uh, I was a fool to ask you. And Diana is so stupid. Once feared as the mighty grizzly, detective among detectives. Now he's more like a big teddy bear. What's the point of the place? Teddy, what's this? So, tell me, David, have you heard the news about that airplane accident, huh? No. Access Gate Airways Flight 117, struck by unexplained lightning. No one's talking about anything else right now. We might be looking at the real deal. I've got the good stuff for you this time. Passenger simply vanishing from an aircraft mid-flight. Does that sound possible to you? Antonio Zapatero, otherwise known as Rabbit. He's a courier who only carries real blood. This one promised to provide evidence after being brought to Boston. Evidence that may well have led to the ID of the source of real blood. But then the lightning struck, and in the confusion, he vanished. He escaped somehow? No. When I say vanished, that's pretty much what I mean. Like something out of a magic act. So, clue me in. What makes this one the real deal? The name of the boss he was going to give up? <clears throat> apparently starts with the letter D. This courier might have had evidence revealing the identity of D. So, interested yet? Let me ask you again. A passenger simply vanishing from an aircraft mid-flight. Does that sound possible to you? Almost anything is possible. That's why he brought this to me in the first place, isn't it? Glad we're on the same page. The courier had the evidence with him. I tell you, there's got to be a third party involved somewhere. From the evidence I was able to bring, this particular item is the most interesting. The owner of that badge was involved in this incident. <gasps> well? No doubt about it. This is a memento. Great. It's yours, then. Let's hope it's the last one you'll ever need. What? What are my credits for? I'm 
Am I going to buy something that credit? I have no idea. Derek. So Derek might be that D. Okay, no, you don't want to look at the shield. Oh, coffee. Where? I'm, I want to go to bathroom, right? Is it this? Teddy! Thanks for all the help. Ha! Huh, no problem, David. We're partners. You may have quit the force, but... That fact won't change. Hell, if you trace it all the way back, if I hadn't asked you to join up in the first place... Teddy! No, no, no. Don't give me that look, Amanda. I'm just trying to give him a reason to live. Little Peggy. Time has been frozen for me since that day. <laughs> Will I see you this time? See to the next episode. Yes. It's too quick to call you.